Hello Virgo, welcome to my channel. My name is Isabel from the tarotempress.com. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. I'm going to be doing your tarot card reading and it's going to be focused on the daily energy for your zodiac sign. I'm going to be looking at your love life, okay? So let's see what's happening in Virgo's love life for the 20th. March 2020. <laughs> Okay, so what I'm seeing from the cards is an indication that some of you are dealing with a love connection that is very close to your heart, okay? I'm picking that up from this particular energy. So clearly you care very deeply for this individual. You may have been in a relationship with them. You may have, you know, been getting to know this individual. But with this particular card, that I have, I feel like during this period of time, you still feel as if, you know, you would like to see the completion of this relationship. You would like to see it go all the way. You would like to see you and this individual end up in a happily ever after. You still have that hope, you know, during this period of time. It's something that's very close to your heart. I feel like this is the individual that you want to spend the rest of your life with. But uh, you might feel as if, you know, approaching this person or approaching this topic of commitment and stability, it could be feeling like a big challenge. Because with this particular card, I get the impression that you feel as if you have to constantly fight for this. And this is the energy that is showing up, you know. You may have been uh, persistently persevering in this, uh, you know, quest to have this relationship work out in this beautiful manner. Now, what I pick up with this particular energy is that many of you feel as if, you know, you can't stop, you have to keep going, you have to keep striving. And your energy is very centered on trying to find a path going forward. So it feels like, you know, some of you may have had your ego and your, you know, emotions knocked around a bit during the course of this relationship and some of you could be feeling like you're just exhausted to a certain extent but I also feel like this particular energy is revealing to you how strong you truly are and how your love is not something that uh, wanes it's not something that uh, falls to pieces just because you're dealing with um, you know challenges I feel like some of you are feeling like on an emotional level, you are just exhausted, right? I also feel like you uh, sense that this relationship is a lot of uh, uh, hard work. It's not something that just comes easily for you. You know, in terms of this person, you may have felt very challenged by their energy. The next card that I'm looking at is showing to me that you have this hope that the two of you will end up together and that everything will be wonderful. And, uh, you know, with that energy, I feel like because this person you're dealing with, they have so much of this enthusiasm towards life. It feels as if they bring a lot of happiness into your world. It feels like this person has a love for adventure or love for excitement. And that makes you feel like life is worth living it makes you feel as if you know there's so much opportunities here to be had with this individual and that's why you're still going you're still exploring this relationship to the extent of which you cannot let it go right so I feel like you know that this romance is going to be very rewarding if you succeed in getting together with this individual making things work things that have been uh, upside down for some time 
the next energy is showing to me that there might have been things that occurred during the course of your relationship that are coming up today you know this is a daily tarot card reading so this energy that is coming up is showing to me that you know some of you may have had certain fears that were showing up during the course of the relationship right you may have felt as if this individual wasn't being 100 percent with you or you may have felt as if there's something else going on in the situation which uh, made you question, you know, is this individual truly into you? Do they really want a relationship with you? You know, where do you stand with this person? Now, with this particular card, it feels as if, you know, some of you were experiencing a lot of um, distractions in the course of the relationship. It feels as if you know, because of the way that things were happening, you may have felt as if this relationship was going into this void or that it wasn't uh, leading towards a clear path. So there were a lot of confusions, lots of upheaval, upheavals in the course of the relationship. It may have caused you to, you know, lead with certain assumptions that were not true. So you may have said or done things in the course of the relationship it may have triggered this individual to feel as if you don't trust them or you don't trust their intentions. So I feel like, you know, a lot of you uh, may have realized that your imagination was going wild back then, right? I feel like, you know, when it comes to relationships, sometimes you can get fearful and you can have this sense of, um, you know, nightmare that plays out where you feel as if the love you have to offer an individual isn't enough and maybe they're talking to other people or they're doing other things etc and right now I feel like that sort of energy maybe they accused you it feels like accusations it feels as if you might have accused this individual of doing certain things or they may have accused you and it just feels like this love between the two of you took a knock that's what I'm picking up what I'm also picking up is this energy of you know, the things that happened before, the things that happened before that um, sort of didn't help the relationship work out, but it rather caused a lot of um, irregularities, imbalances, those sort of energies. It caused these upheavals in the course of the relationship. And this is coming uh, down to miscommunication, misunderstandings, assumptions, things that were wrongly based on what you thought to be the truth back then or what they thought to be the truth back then right so the next energy that i'm looking at is showing to me that you still think very fondly of this individual you have a very fond attachment to them and you know you still see their vibrant energy and you might have you know witnessed the evolution of this individual how they became into this different individual you might have witnessed transformations that occurred on a soul level so you were there through the thick and thin of whatever they were going through and I feel like you're looking back at certain things right now and starting to see that uh, you know certain um, sort of paths should not have been pursued maybe if you said things that were hurtful or they said things that were hurtful to you it feels like that sort of energy that is showing up I'm also picking up this energy where you know, one individual has, you know, either switched off on an emotional level and it might be difficult for you to reach this person. It might be difficult for you to uh, get close to them and you feel as if they're drifting away or moving away from you. And that's causing you to feel a sense of sadness, causing you to feel a sense of emptiness. It feels as if someone has become so cheeky, cold and distant. That's what I'm picking up, right? So you might feel as if this individual is hard to reach. Maybe there were things that happened back then that caused these divides in the relationship, that caused these shifts, these changes. And for these energies to come up today, it means that it has to be dealt with, you know. It has to be addressed because there's no way around it. So what I'm going to be doing in the extended reading is I'm going to be getting some advice for some of the challenges that you're dealing in your current situation with this person. 
and you know you can do the work that is necessary to balance the energies and bring things back into alignment i'm also going to be looking at the energy of this individual and providing you with insight into you know what they're thinking feeling what they're going through and how they are perceiving this situation you know so i hope you guys enjoyed your reading if you enjoy uh, these type of style of readings where it's focused on the daily energies make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to subscribe have a wonderful day and take care